Log into your toolkit. From the Home drop down menu, select Online Forms. Here, you may fill in any additional information to help customize the form and select a form type. If you're planning on putting this one form on your desktop, you may not want to pre fill a client ID. Once you're satisfied with the above fields, click Submit and you should receive a hyperlink to the form. Right click on the hyperlink with the mouse and you should receive several options in a drop down menu. Now, left click on the Save Link As option. Now you'll want to save this form somewhere where you can easily access it. I'll show you how to save it straight to the desktop. Depending on your version of Windows, you may be able to access the desktop right here from the Favorites dropdown. If you've already navigated to your desktop, go ahead and give it an appropriate file name and click the Save button. If you aren't seeing any easy way to access it, you'll need to navigate there manually. Scroll down here and find your C drive or whatever drive Windows is installed on. Now, look for your Users folder. Then select the folder that corresponds with the username you're logged into the computer as. Now, within this directory, you should be able to find a folder called Desktop. You can change the file name if you desire. You should also notice that the file type should be a .pdf. Now save the file by clicking here. Now, if you minimize your web browser, you should be able to see the file as an icon on your desktop. I'm going to double click it here, and you'll see that it pulls up in Adobe Reader. Then you can begin filling it in. You can manually left click on each response, or if you're interested in filling out these forms more quickly, you may be interested to know that you can move through these fields by pressing tab and using the left and right arrow keys. Tab moves you down a field, and shift tab moves you back up one field. Using this method you can see how quickly you can enter the data. As you can see, if you access the form online directly from your own toolkit, the toolkit will auto print certain information for you onto your form, like your clinician ID and proper org and site IDs. Once you're done, go ahead and press the submit button at the top. You will probably get a little loading bar at the bottom and once that's complete it will open a completed copy of the form. If that doesn't happen, it may be an issue with your version of Adobe Reader. Try updating to the latest version of Adobe Reader and try again. If you did get the confirmation form, you may opt to save that for your own records, or you can simply close out both now. If you desire to enter more forms at this point, feel free to use the Reset Form button on the original form that you submitted. If you've been using a form successfully from your desktop for a period of time, and you suddenly begin getting an error, that may be an indicator that the form you're using has been updated. In the event that this happens, try saving a new version of the form to your desktop again from the website. If that doesn't resolve the problem, email us at datacenter at clinical-informatics.com.